with another fishing planet video going live just a little gameplay little tips little tricks like I say just a quick tip R1 switch your bait I want to fish with some cheese I look so lovely to be able to do that on the fly you guys you press R1 and you move your right thumb stick up and down freaking lovely lovely tip you can switch your reels the same way with L1 and the right thumb stick up and down but I'm not that high of a level yet I only have one uh, reel equipped right now so I can't take advantage of that which is fine well fellas this time I'm gonna sit out here and show you guys how to fish for some pan fish and a little something that I try to Little, little something it, like I said tips and tricks videos because it's mainly talking and it's mainly tips and tricks but as I'm talking I'll get to the tips and tricks like always so no other ado let me tell you this first tip fellas check out what I'm fishing with I'm gonna tighten my line up to look how loose that line is sitting out there oh and I pulled it in that sucks I, don't, I need to think I need a different pole for this look at this guys I sling my pole out here look at how much slack is in that line so when a fish hits I can't get that fish that's that's too way too much slack so I try to pull it over just to the side a little bit and tighten that up just a wee bit because that is way too much line to try to catch a fish and as you see if I lower my gear like I just did right there and I try to reel in it's not it's, it's just gonna come in it's not gonna give me what I want so the trick to that is a longer pole in real life that's that's called pitching i think and um it's good to use i want to say 11 and a half pole 11 and a half foot pole when you're pitching like that um i'm not exactly sure but i know it's a longer pole it's not like a seven a lot of people use a seven a seven and a half but that's you know, that's, I was going to say that's off the land to in the water, but mainly a lot of people do that off of boats. A lot of people pitch like that off of boats or uh, off in these tall weeds. In just a second, I'll show you exactly how people do that. Well, uh, I've tr that's how I tried sometimes too, but I'll show you how, how they do it. Because this game is realistic and it helps to be more realistic in this game just like right here a major thing that the update they just had an update oh yeah and you can walk too so that's a good way to tighten your lineup too just kind of step back a little bit but um one update that they got that they put in here and i don't know if they did or if maybe i was just doing it nonchalantly not knowing but uh, usually when I catch a fish I press both my R1 I mean my R2 and my L2 at the same time whatever kind of fish that is down there is going crazy but it's not pulling is it he didn't reach and grab anything but uh, usually I pull down on both of my triggers at the same time to catch a fish here lately I've been doing that and I've been losing a lot of fish so the finesse team of course you know I'm team finesse we gotta finesse these fish um i uh i started hooking them first and that's l l2 first get you a good hook and then r2 when you press both you're reeling in and hooking at the same time and i think your reel probably reels in a little bit faster than you're setting your hook and so you tend to miss fish that way so if you can you guys try to muscle memory into when that barber starts shaking to go ahead and press L1 first and get you a good hook because on the cool as long as you hook the fish he can run you got you're hooking him he's you don't have to reel in you know what I'm saying you're setting the hook so no matter how long it takes it's nothing's gonna happen you know what I'm saying he's not actually gonna jump off the reason he jumps off is because as you're setting the hook he's running and you're pulling line so you guys try that muscle memory and try to remember not to pull both of your triggers at the same time try to give it one trigger at a time I'm gonna try to perfect it right here I'm gonna show you 
and then you'll know when I'm hooking it cause my line will go real high and I'll give it a chance to go real high too to know that that hook is set you know and that's 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 that finesse in this video game type stuff right here try to catch as many fish as I can in the less amount of time you know what I'm saying cause uh, of course these days seem long but the more you play this game and the more you start enjoying catching fish you realize these days go fast your your time that you can catch fish at at the peak points oh man you look up and the whole you know the whole scenery done got darker you're like what the hell you look at the time and yep you fished your day away and you hopefully caught some fish i got another tip for you guys it's a hmm i wouldn't say it's a lower level tip um it's just it's it's something to think about guys like I strongly suggest that you keep a keep net and a stringer because some places even if you competition some places you only can have a stringer or a keep net but at the same time some places have smaller fish say like here in Texas all these fish they're not going to get very big they're not over four pounds so my keep net it holds up to I think five pounds for the first fish or maybe three cuz I'm a lower level maybe three I had to get out that one cuz those bass over there are bigger than one pound but I, uh, I got out of that and got me I'll show you real quick uh, uh, a bigger keep net and the reason I did that is because look how many fish I can keep in my keep net now you know what I'm saying I can make eight hundred dollars compared to that first net I had where you can keep I think a total of five pounds of fish or something like that it's just real low but this is a secret this is a big tip for these these keep nets when you you can actually farm these little fish look at how much money I got off of trying to fill up this 15 pound net with these little fish you know and then you catching trophy fish and things like that actually I don't have any trophy fish in here but that's okay because I still when I did this earlier with that other bag when I first started because I tried to make some money before I started spending money here in Texas since I had already played this game I kind of knew what I wanted to do um I was coming back I was catching these little fish because like I said I my pose too small I I can't catch too many I can catch those bass because they're not two pounds but my line is two pounds but the thing about the bass is the bass don't necessarily bite uh necessarily bite um what do you call it what do you call it they don't necessarily bite blood worms they bite the crap out of that spoon though um you guys i'm gonna friend request this guy while i'm live since he did ask me i will do that my friend i will let me catch this fish real in and i will and i'll come back to live and you guys i'll do it real quick and try not to Try not to take too much time in that uh that dead xbox screen i know nobody likes that i should go off and do it but that's a lot of reasons why i like to go live is we all can be live everybody can get their time to shine and put their little information in on the big screen you know what i'm saying get in here and and this is just strictly playstation 4 that's all i, I you know i want to deal with kind of playstation 4 because X, uh, PC, love it, love it. Like I say, Hawkeye, man, I'm always getting your shouts. Um, PS4 is a little different than this. And if it's not, you know what I'm saying? I'd like to know that too. Here, guys, give me one second. I'm a friend this guy. KRP Gaming Y. Hey, Gaming. I'm still here, fellas. I'm almost done. Gaming. Why? Can't remember if that was a big Y or lowercase Y. We're going to try it and see. 
search for that guy for me. No players found. Let me see. Maybe I got that wrong. Notifications. Where's my darn messages at? Discover. A profile. I can't figure. All right, give me a second. KRP, that's why I messed up. KRP Gaming. YT, too. Okay, YT. All right, I found him, guys. I found him. Sorry about that. Add him. <laughs> Friend request sent. All right, back to the game. Back to fishing. Sorry about that, fellas. Sorry about that, fellas. Let me get back off in here. And what I'm actually trying to do, to tell you the truth, right here is since I'm here and I don't have like I say a lot of tackle to catch a lot of nice bass I want to fast forward time and actually get over here and say I don't want to catch that common but there's a trophy bluegill um, let me see common something there's a trophy red ear and a trophy crappie and those are the three fish that I'm actually looking for with these blood worms but like I say they're biting that cheese too if y'all y'all see and then like I wanted to say to y'all too the reason I want y'all to get out here and fish and kind of just become part of the community and talk in the community is because none of these fish bite cheese look all you gotta do is look dough balls crickets and remember in baits cheese is a bait not a lure so we don't have to look down there all of this nothing in there now that right there it doesn't even say cheese and you can catch catfish with cheese on here too so you guys i wouldn't i mean you know a lot of this game is getting out here fishing these are just ideas you know you take what you hear from them and you take what you know for yourself you make something out of it you know what i'm saying and sometimes it comes out as cheese and it works <laughs> no but here we go um say hopefully i could speak up on it i want to catch a ooh i better i'm not not really good with the names of these fish especially not these little pan fish where i'm from we catch catfish so i know a little bit about channel cat and regular cat mud cat <laughs> yeah i'm saying i know about them catfish when you pull them up they got the the mud on their stomach <clears throat> still you know snatch them up right off the bottom with an old hot dog because believe it or not, guys, for people who really, really don't know, man, we catch a lot of big catfish off just regular hot dogs. Just going to the store, snatching up a thing of hot dogs and going out there, either your friends and your kids or whatever. Your hot dogs, man, and like at a barbecue or something, because when you're fishing them catfish, you got to fish kind of slow. Like this right here, you got to sit down kind of fish that's why I, i'm more of a bait caster fan but i fish both the ways I, I hold two poles i'll take my bait caster i'm gonna pull this in i don't really like sitting here that long oh snap my broadcasting stopped Yep, yep, I could do that. I didn't even know my broadcast stopped. What kind of crap?